Okay guys, this is the much asked for 6x6 tutorial. Uh, I just recorded one, but I forgot to press record, so I'm kind of depressed right now. Anyways, let's get starting. So the, let's start with the slime and honey layout. It's kind of like an L. Oh, start with like an, an L in green, or in, in, in slime it is, and then make an opposite L. Or this is actually a normal L. Never mind. Just do that like this, and then put one block below it on the outsides, basically. Um, and then we're gonna do that on the other side too. So just mm, put uh, slime and honey on the opposite sides, basically. Um, and then we're gonna make the double extender. So those are the triples. Uh, let's, and then we use the doubles like this on both sides. And this is a six by six. So this is the slime and honey layout. Now, I'm going to build the actual 6x6 in the sky, so it's easier for you guys to see and easier for me to build. Let's start with the pistons, so actually pull the, the stuff down. Um, so we're going to use the torches and we're going to use some red wool. So we're going to start with the pistons like this. They're going to be below like the middle outside part, like in between the two blocks and also on the other side like that. Now we're also going to do it on the same like spots, but for the double extenders like this. And also on the other side, we're going to put torches below it and on blocks going outside basically. Like that. Now we're going to choose a side for the lever. So it's either going to be this triple extender or this one. So I'm going to choose this one because they're the same. Going to put redstone below the torches. And then we're going to place the lever on either, either of the two blocks. Doesn't matter. Um, and then we're going to put redstone below the double extenders too. This is like for connectivity basically to connect all the extenders together. And... We're going to to unpool this one. We're just going to put blocks like this, three blocks with redstone on it uh, to connect that up in a second. So now that that's all set up, let's actually make it so you can unpool the torches. For that, we're going to use slabs so the redstone trail can actually go through it. Um, put a slab like this on all the sides, just one below it, um, connecting up with the torch, unpooling the torch, basically. Then put redstone on all of them. And then the only thing we have to do is connect up the redstone. So we're going to go basically two below the slab, I guess, or one like this. So it's going to be like a circle, right? Um, yeah, so one down, one up, and then it's all connected. So we're going to do that everywhere. One down, one up. And to connect this, we're just going to put a block up like that so there's less like chance they fall into the redstone this up and we're gonna do that everywhere until everything is connected up now when you think everything is connected up actually test pull it so everything goes down once that works you know everything's actually connected up because that's the biggest biggest like chance of the whole contraption not working when you miss like one redstone somewhere and everything's gonna grieve later on so make sure your your basics are good basically let's start with the double extenders everyone has a no double extender so the double extenders are just like those those sides basically because they only have to pull twice um we're gonna go below the redstone torches so you have that two redstone line you started with right you're going to extend one of the sides, doesn't matter which. Um, and we're going to place one more Retza. And we're going to go one up, place a torch on that, one up again, another Retza. One up again, another Retza. And then we place a block up here to power the Retza. Um, and then we're going to go either two or one block to the right, depending on where you started. So I started on the right uh, with this Retza. So I'm going to go one to the right. Oh, up again, place a dust. And then two to the other side. You know double extenders. 
how they work. Then we're just gonna, you know, make an actual extender of it out of it. Like this. Then to place the pistons, we're gonna push put blocks there. Don't forget this block. I forgot that in the other tutorial. And which filled. Um then I'm gonna put the pistons on the observers and to place those. You're gonna go middle one first. You're gonna get crawled, go out of crawl like this. Then we can walk out of here onto the red zone. And we can go to the other side, like shifting, like you're in a game, right? You can just do it like this. Uh, I'll do it the left side for this one to show you guys that it does not matter at all. One more to the left and then two to the right. Repeaters. And place this block. The blocks here. And walk out. So now the doubles are done. They're the easy part though. Let's get to the triple extenders. And we're gonna start with the lever side, and then we're gonna do the non-lever side. You're gonna go in between the you're gonna go in between the slab and the block, like the outside block of the red sun trails. You're gonna go one back up and then go another one. So you have a red sun line like that. Then go up another one and place a torch on that one. Then place a block above the torch with slabs on both sides, going into, into the redstone and basically into the other part. And then we're gonna place the like the outside pool thingy for the first barrel and everything. Or barrel for the first piston. I don't know what I'm yapping about. Um so this should be powered now. You place a barrel like this and one going up, and then place a repeater on it. Then we're gonna make the observer part, which is not that hard. Just make a redstone going up from like the repeater block, basically. Um, place an observer like this, going into that, and then place one going backwards. So not like this, but like this. And then place another one going there. Now we're gonna do that same thing on the other side too. One block up, two, torch, slab, slab. Move this one, repeater, observers. And the last thing we need to do is place six blocks. One and two here on the first two observers and then four here. <clears throat> so all the redstone is covered. We're gonna place the pistons, two on the already powered redstone, like this. And we're gonna place one here, which is not powered yet, and one here. So it's like a four four pistons like that. And now we're gonna place two like this. They're gonna make the first pool basically. And the other one going here. That's it. That's the triple extender. We're gonna do that on the other side too. And everything's ready. So here we don't need to go up. Because it's already like a straight line. Go two out. Ooh. Smooth. I'm gonna fly for this one. Because it's so much faster. Okay. Like this. Sometimes you place the pistons on that one first. Just get the hang of it yourself, get your own patterns on how you place everything. And just try to be the fastest as, as you can, basically. Because it's a really like time-consuming build in survival. Um, seems decently easy and creative, I'd say. But it takes at least, it takes me like five minutes after PvP, I'd say, to do it. And I know a lot of people can do it, or a lot. A couple of people can do it a little bit faster too, like Shadow, the designer. Um, so yeah, that's it.
This is the bolt. Let's just test it right now. Sometimes you have find a flaw, which we're just gonna fix. Ooh, this one doesn't push. And the reason for that is because there is no block here. Make sure you have a block there. And we're just gonna like roll it back. And because this one is now already triggered, we need to like replace him. Ooh, clean. It's just a lot of troubleshooting, I guess, sometimes. But it works. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. That's a 6x6. Six six. So, for funneling, I always go KB funnels because you're not gonna funnel like a red sun funnel a whole like 6x6, um, six six, right? So, we're gonna go a little bit below this. I'm gonna toggle my no sign GUI. Just go two layers below it, I think. Or actually, like mine three, but do two. You could just place signs like this everywhere. It doesn't really matter how you place them as long as they don't go above. You you can still do it here if you would really want that. But normally you're not gonna clutch on that. Also, real quick, you can place barrels like here, um, so people don't have any big chance to like fall into anywhere. Like, you still have the chance here, or you can, you can also place a barrel. That doesn't really matter, so just place barrels like this, and the odds of them falling into the red zone are so small. That... I, I, t I take the odds, so we're gonna place signs like this everywhere, and then we're gonna go one more down and place slabs, like, you know how KB funnels work, hopefully. Like, half slabs. Um... Everywhere, then we're gonna make a 2x2 two two KB hole. Like this. And to actually not make the water flow into the KB, I use a technique with a fence gate. Um, then put signs like this. And then we're just gonna put some blocks around it. Wait, actually, never mind. We're not gonna put blocks around it. Gonna put a walk in thingy like this walking path because we're gonna make like a kb um we're gonna put someone in the wall to also kb people away from the wall i'm just gonna place um signs like this but it's easier if you do it on the wall behind so like this so the water doesn't flow into it right so we're gonna place water now actually gonna place some blocks here place some blocks here we're gonna place water like this this should normally make an infinite, but I think it's because I don't have blocks below it. Why is this not making infinite water? Is that because new snapshots and shit? Anyways, this should make infinite water, right? You know how water works on slabs, but just doesn't do that for me right now. It's fine. Um, so yeah, now you can just like one person be in here on pool. He pulls them. One person behind to hit them away from the wall, and me just hitting them into there too. And... Yeah, to actually get out of this hole, I'd make like a, a door... Over here, somewhere like at the lev lever, I guess. Just remove this, place some blocks below... Like this, and then place two doors. Oops. Like... This. And it's pretty hard to get through the doors because you're gonna be like bouncing. So you open them and then hold shift. And then you're gonna go through. No one's gonna know that. So that's gonna be fine. Then you'd make ladders here. Make a ladder up to surface, like let's say here. Behind the redstone, and then everything is fine. But I'll show you guys a really, really quick shadow funnel system. Uh use always use stone pressure plates for this two by two. So let's say you're gonna funnel this two by two, right? We're gonna do a quick funnel so people can't escape. We're gonna go down like this on both sides. Like that. And we're gonna go into the wall. Go below this block. So we're gonna look below that one. Torch, 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 torch. Redstone. 
and redstone. I need one more redstone up here. Pistons, piston. Another redstone like this. Block there, block there. And that works. Perfect clock funnels. They're gonna work every single time. Thank you guys so much for watching. People told me not to make this tutorial because they won't they didn't want you guys to know. But um I love you guys. So here's the six by six. Um trap everyone with it and see you guys later. Also, quick thanks to my channel members Kai and Noob for uh, having a membership. I really appreciate it and uh, we found the video. So yeah, if you want to get your own, it's in the description. But you don't have to if you don't want to. See you guys later.